Hey up. Right, we're here with Tats and we're on part eight. Um, uh, you can see this building here. This is a Bronte parsonage uh, where the Bronte family lived. Uh, but I've got living in this parsonage, the Mackey family, the Mackeys. Great family. I met them when I was seven year old. I'm still really close to them now. I love all of the Mackeys. Great part of my life. And I've got here, up, up front here, I've got Joan Mack. And behind her, I've got Jane Mack. Uh, and then we come by, and just walking past the window there, I've got Pam Mac. She was a ginner. There she is, passing by the window. And then we come to the front door, I've got Mrs Mac, Dot Mac. And what a matriarch she was to this family. Great woman, Dot. She was great to me as a kid. And next to her, I've got Molly Mac. She's sitting right next to her there. And then we come round here, and the bigger cat here is Eileen Mac. Now, I was very close with Eileen, was similar age, I laked a lot, spent a lot of time with Eileen, really tight with Eileen. And sat right here is Christine Mack. She was known as Parrot uh, when we were kids, and she was very similar looking to Eileen. Either side of them there, we've got uh, Peter Mack, who's always been known as Charlie Mack. And next to him here is Mick Mack. And then we'll come up, the youngest of lads there is James Mack, Jimmy Mack, he was as a kid. And we're coming up here, and on the roof we come a Trish Mack. Uh, Trish Mack died at a young age, really sad, big, big lost at family. And then I've got Trish there, up on the roof. Come round the parsonage, it's just full of the Mackies here. And if you look closely there, you can see a pipe on that windowsill. And that pipe is an opium pipe, and it was smoked by Bramwell Bronte.